In this lesson, we're going to be learning a finger style ragtime blues chord progression, basically. But this was very common back in the um, early blues, uh, delta blues, all that kind of stuff. So, um, so ragtime, it's a different, it's a different uh, chord progression than your regular one, four, five, twelve bar blues. So this one has a C. So it goes from the C uh, to the six chord, six dominant seven. So that's E seven. Then it's going to go to A. I'm sorry. It's the one C to E, which is the third dominant seven. They're almost always dominant seven chords. Then we're going to go to the six, which is A seven for two bars. Then D7, which is the 2, to G, which is the 5, back to the 1, and then to a flat 6, which is A flat, back to 1. So that's the chord progression. The specific licks and fingerstyle thing we'll get into now. So um, it's fingerstyle and what was really common in this is the the alternating bass line with your thumb. So that's the first bar. And oftentimes they would mute kind of the lower strings with their palm if you want because sometimes they ring out weird if you don't, but. So we got root note on the third fret. You're just made playing a regular C major chord. Then you're gonna pick G and B strings. Then your thumb comes down and plays the D string and then the E string. I'm sorry, but you move your third finger up and play G, which is the fifth of C. Then you play the whole chord twice, two eighth notes. And then the root note, or the, the D again. Then we're gonna hit a low E because we're, that, it's kind of leading us to the next chord, which is the E7. Okay, so we got. going to play, you can just play a regular E major chord and our seven is going to be here with our pinky on the third fret of the B string. So you're going to play A string, G string, B string together. And then come up here and grab the fourth fret of the low E string. So we got And then play. That's A string, B string, and E string, and then just the E string and B string. So our bass note is on the A. So we got. Like that. Then you're going to play the second fret D string, then low E string. One more time slow. Then the last part is, and that's A string and B string together. Now you have your pinky down on the flat seven of the E chord, third fret B string. Then E string by itself, back to B string. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to our A7 chord. So that sounds like you can play A, open A, play an A7, barring the A, like a normal A major chord, add your third finger on the third fret of the high E string. Okay, so that's how you're going to chord it. Open A, B and E strings, then D string, and then low E string. And then you play A, B, and high E strings together. And then once without the bass note. So the whole bar so far. Then back to the D, back to the E. That's how the bar finishes. Now you stay on A7 for two bars. So the second bar sounds like this. One more time. Like that. So it's, now you got your pinky way up here on the fifth fret of the high E string, and you're gonna pick A string, B string, and E string together. Now take your pinky off and play D string, B string, and E string together. Then back to the five, just playing the higher strings, then the open A, then back to the three and two, pinky off, and then the two. So it sounds like this. One more time. Now we go to our D7. So we're playing a D7 chord. We're going to need our thumb in this. It sounds like this. That sounds really weird until you hear the next chord, um, but that's the bar. So it's D7. We're going to be picking A, B, and E strings. Then the B and E strings by themselves. Then D string, second fret E string, and then repeat that. Open D, and then go to the one on the A string. So it's Now it's a G7. So that's third fret. We got this little melody run. So you're going to play third fret, E string, and open B. Then you're going to play third fret B, open E. Then you're going to play one on the E string with the open D string. So we got back to the E string for our bass note. Then you're going to pick open D and third fret E string and open B together. Then take your third finger off. Play open B and E string together again. So we have. Then open D string again. And open, and then E string again. So. And then you go to C. And you're just gonna play A, G, and B strings.
and that's kind of how it ends. So the, the last part is C, S, D string, bass note, open A, bar the first fret of the D, G, and B strings. You're gonna pick down G, I'm sorry, D, G, B, and then pluck them all together. And then come back and grab the G, and go back to C. So it's and then the whole thing would just start all over again. So That's the whole progression. Really difficult because of the alternating of the thumb and just the combinations of thumb and getting these little melodies in. So you have to take it really slow. I'm uh, by no means a master at this style. I've been working with this uh, for a couple of days. I still haven't gotten it up to the tempo um, that I want to get it to, but it's hard to make it all clear with the thumb going back and forth and you, you kind of have a tendency to bump strings and stuff. And, the best way to get over that is just to play it slow so you can play it concise. And because the style is played pretty hard. I mean, they're, they're really, when you hear that old, you know, go back and listen to something from the 30s or 20s even when they're playing this style. Um, Blind Blake and, and some of those old blues guys, um, they, they play it very aggressively. So, and that's hard to do. Um, it just, it just takes some practice. So take it slow. It's a really cool piece. If you can get it and get it up to speed, the faster you can play it, the cooler it sounds. So, but that's a little taste of some fingerstyle ragtime blues. <laughs> 